Hi, this is Rob Bremer.net website, and uh, today I want to share with you um, just something short and little that I believe is a revelation that will help you walk in God's blessing as far as your financial things go. Um, in Genesis 1, um, when after, I, uh, maybe it's Genesis 2, when Adam and Eve um, disobeyed God and ate of the forbidden fruit, which is fruit from the tree of knowledge of good and evil, the result of that was they experienced evil. They were already experiencing good. Now they ate of, of seed, of fruit, which produced a harvest of evil. And that's what's on the earth, the harvest of that evil from that fruit that they ate. Um, they, um, so that they were walking. The curse was the fruit of, of the tree, the harvest of the fruit of the tree of good and evil. They began to walk in the knowledge of it and experience it. So the curse uh, that, that they, they would no longer have seed time and harvest to get all their needs met, but now they would have to work. It would not, they would not just speak it and they would have all their needs met. God would provide all their needs. Now they had to work the ground in order to have seed time and harvest. And the ground would bring forth uh, thorns and thistles because the ground also fell and was under a curse. Um, that plant kingdom, the animal kingdom, the atmosphere, everything fell when man fell because man has authority and dominion over all those things. So everything man has authority and dominion over in the original creation is what fell. So, and that's what Jesus bought back. But the that was the curse of toil. They'd have to now work by the sweat of their bra. We have to labor and work to get anything. But Jesus redeemed us from the curse of the law in Galatians 3.13. And also it says that he redeemed us from the curse of the law so that the blessings of Abraham will come upon us. But there's one more part to that scripture. It says the blessing, God gives us a blessing and adds no toil or sorrow to it. No toil, no sorrow. In other words, we're not supposed to have to work for a living. We're supposed to work for a giving now. Because it's by seed time and harvest, and the best way to be blessed is to be a blessing and to sow seeds, whether it's seeds of smile, seeds of friendship, so seeds of finances into ministries, or seeds of um, time, or seeds of prayer, whatever seeds that you sow, you get a harvest back from that seed because it's now bought back that we're, we're walking in seed time and harvest. And the blessing has no more toil to it. We are to be blessed without the toil. When we go to work, we go to work to bring out the potential and the gifts and the callings that God's put into us so that we can take the finances that we get from that and sow it into other people's ministries, into uh, worldly people to bring them to Jesus, into uh, multiplying God's kingdom. And so, um, the main thing that I want to get across here is that Jesus redeemed us from the curse of the toil and he gave us the blessing with no toil added to it. And my name is Rob Bremer.net is the website and I'll talk to you tomorrow.